Okay, so where we left off, we created a bass part, we played the notes C four times, then we played the note G four times, then we played the note E four times, then we played the note D. So now we're going to play some chords. So the first chord to go with the C is a C major. So if you remember from the last lesson, hopefully you watched the last very short video teaching you how to make chords on the keyboard. So if it's a C major, we're going to start at C, we're going to count four notes to get to an E, and then we're going to count three notes to get to a G. So we know C, E, G is a C major chord. Then we need a G major. So we're going to go up to G, and again we're going to count three, four notes, and we're going to get to a B, and then we're going to count three notes and get to a D. So what you want to do is start kind of memorizing where your C is and where your hand's going to go. And the same thing, you'll notice it's the exact same finger formation, the C major, as it is for the G major, but it just starts on a different note. And it's actually the same formation. It's actually the same formation. You going to come over here? Um, for a, an E minor. Are you going to help me? So, and then E minor, instead of four to three, it's three to four. So we're going to start at the E, and we're going to go one, two, three to the G, and then one, two, three, four to the B, and then we're going to play a D major. Starting on the D, we're going to go four, one, two, three, four, which is an F sharp, which is the, it's the key right above an F, and then one, two, three, four, three gives us to the A. So it's D, F sharp, A. So we've got C major, G major, E minor, and D major. Thank you so much. Can you be quiet? So, in order to make it really easy, we're going to go to the transport window and put the tempo down to, sorry, window transport. We're going to go down here and put the tempo at 80. So just hit 80 and return. And now we've got our tempo slower just to play it to while we play our chords. And then I'm going to put the, the pad track over here in record. And you'll notice I've chosen for MIDI channel 3 a category soft pads and my sound that I chose is called shimmer okay we really don't need expand anymore I'm gonna close that and we want to go back to the edit window and you'll see I've made the I've made <laughs> will you stop it uh, the sorry loop track height I've made it small for the bass I went to track height I made it small and now for the pad I can say hey give me large. So now you can kind of, we, we want to make your, if you're not working on a track and you're done with it, make it small, get it out of the way, and then make the track you're working on larger. So, and again, you can do that by just clicking and dragging here. So, we have one bar, one bar before the song starts, and hit return to go to the beginning, and I've memorized, take a moment if you need to, pause the video, figure out C major, G major, E minor, D major. Write it down if you need to. Write a cheat sheet. And here we go. We're going to record it. I'm going to record it uh, all four times. And then we can pick out maybe the fourth time I got it right. And then we're going to take that fourth time and use it throughout the whole thing. So here we go. Hit return to go to the beginning. Command spacebar to record. C major. G major. E minor. D major, C major, G major, E minor, D major, one more time, C major, G major, E minor, to D major, last one, C major, G major, E minor, to D major. Bam! Okay, so now first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and put my tempo back to 95. And if I played it pretty much with the beat, I don't have to fix it, but I'm a perfectionist. So let's say, you know, the one I really liked, stop it, stop it, stop it, is the third one. So I like this third, so I, every time, you see here I made a mistake. So I'm going to delete everything but, and I know if I can, I can play it, I can see the third one starts here. 
And I also know, because this is what a, a C major looks like, so actually the third one starts there, okay? So I'm going to delete all of that, and then you don't even have to delete it, but it makes it easier to get it out of the way, so you, bing, stop, 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 so you can see it, and I can see, okay, those are, these are the four I want to use. So let me fix this four bars. We're going to quantize. And I am going to go ahead and quantize to exact. I'm going to go to event, event operations, quantize. Or I'm going to hit option zero. This is real talent here with the dog attacking me. Okay, hey, hey, sit, sit, good girl. Okay, down, down, good girl. Dog trainer, Pro Tools trainer. Um, anyway, so I'm going to, instead of a... 80%, I'm going to make it 100%, just to be simple here. I'm going to say apply, and it moves all the notes. You can see it very subtly. And I say, okay, I'm in grid mode. I'm going to highlight. I'm going to copy. Command C to copy. I'm going to go to even at bar 2. How I know it, bar 2 is these numbers here. I'm going to write to bar 2. So I've, when I highlight, I'm highlighting in even four bars. And I'm, then I'm going to copy, Command C, those even four bars. And I'm going to click right at bar 2, and I'm going to paste. Got to get in the habit of, of these shortcuts. So I'm not even going to the edit menu. Okay, shh. Sit. Sit. Wait. Okay. I'm going to paste. Command V. There's the one right there. I need one after it, right? So what's our, what's our command? We're going to duplicate. I could paste it again, but if I hit Command D, bam, right there. So we need this one last one for the fourth one. I may as well just hit Command-D, Command-D, and it just goes over the one because it's the same one anyway, right? I'm going to hit Command-S to save, and now we have our keyboard part to tempo. Okay, so hopefully you got that, and uh, let's move on.